Hey guys, welcome back to the range. Today I'm out here because I have the Anderson Manufacturing Kyger SC Pro out here for testing. Anderson was kind enough to send this out to me. Gonna put it through some testing here. We'll go inside, go over what's in the box, everything. Give you just the basics of it here while I'm out at the range. This is the version with the windows cut on the side. You can see top and side windows on it. Comes with their fluted barrel with the serrations up here. Should have come with, you know, a little longer barrel on it, I think maybe some threads on the end of it. Luckily, I know a guy who knows a guy who can get me some threaded barrels for it. So probably down the line, this is gonna end up with a threaded barrel in it. This is how it comes from the factory. We've got the Anderson lower here. If you look real close, it looks like another lower that I might've had here on the channel a while back that I liked and ran well. Comes optic cuts, I've put the right on on there, picked that up at a local shop here, they had a good price on it. Now it is Gen 3 compatible, so you've got your Gen 3 compatible mag release there, you've got your all your Gen 3 stuff here on the frame. I send it with just a basic trigger on there. We might have something down there in the safe room that might fit in there, we'll see later. And they do send it out with suppressor height sights on it. They're just serrated, blacked out sights on there, but they're up there, give you a good lower thirds co-witness on it. So that's a down and dirty quick rundown on it. Let's get some rounds down range, make sure I'm sighted in here, see how it shoots. Okay guys, we're back here inside. Got the Kyger 9C Pro from Anderson Manufacturing. Show you what comes in the box. Give you a little bit of close up of it. Got the trigger pull weights. Then we'll go over everything. Open it up here, you got Anderson Manufacturing soft case in there that has the Kyger 9C Pro in there. We've got a sticker. Got your chamber flag, which is going to come inside the Kyger when you get it. We've got our lock and we've got our destruction manual. Let's open this up, see what we've got. Inside, you just got your Kyger 9C Pro. Now I have added the Riton optics here on top of it. When it comes, you're going to get this polymer or plastic cover plate installed there in that spot. You'll take that off and install your optic. Then as far as installing the optic, it's just like anything else. Take the cover plate off, put that away in the box, wherever you're gonna keep it. Get your optic, put it on there, get the right length screws and torque them down to about 12 inch pounds. Now, if that frame looks familiar, it's because it's the same frame as the SCT manufacturing frame that I had earlier. 
they partnered with Anderson to produce this frame for them. So it's the same thing. This one just has the Anderson logo on it versus the SCT. So that makes this a Gen 3 compatible model. You've got your Gen 3 mag release, your Gen 3 slide stop, your Gen 3 slide release. All the pins are Gen 3. Got your Gen 3 guide rod on there. And of course, we've got a Gen 3 trigger, which came in at about six and a half pounds through the 10 poles you can see here. Turn it over here from the top. We just have blacked out serrated sights. They are suppressor height sights, so it is set up for an optic. If you want to run a suppressor on this, you're going to have to change out the barrel and get a threaded one. But it is set up with the sights from Anderson to work a lower thirds co-witness with an optic on there. Then you can see here we've got some nice window cuts here on the slide. You've got one on the top, the three here on the side. You've got a upgraded barrel in here, so it's got a little decoration on it there at the ejection port, and it is also fluted. As far as the trigger reset, nice and tactile, doesn't have a lot of reset on it, but it is running about six and a half pounds. There's your take up and your wall when you break. Take up, wall, break. Reset. So the trigger doesn't feel bad, doesn't feel like it's gritty. You could probably still get in there and do the 25 cent trigger job if you wanted to, or you should be able to put a Gen 3 compatible trigger in there. Your mileage may vary. You may be stacking tolerances, blah, blah, blah. I can't tell you for sure on your specific gun what trigger is going to go in there and if it's going to run. So make sure if you're changing out any of your parts, I tell you guys this all the time, make sure you go out and test it. I'm probably going to replace this trigger in here, then I'm going to go back out and test it again because it's got a new trigger in it. So I've got to make sure that everything is going to function the way it should. And to finish it out, you've got some really good texturing. All the places you want to have some texturing on here. You've got smooth there where you're really not going to be doing anything with it. You've got some nice deep serrations back here for racking. All in all, a well put together package, especially for the money. So there you go guys, there is the Kyger 9C Pro. Thanks for checking out this video. We'll catch you on the next one.